up their bids to be your next home home broadband service. This was from Rob Pegorano, Pegorano, Pegoaro, Specialty USA Today, today at 5 a.m. Eastern Time, April 19th, 2021. There's a picture here, okay, you see here, of the new T-Mobile Home Internet Service, 4G, 5G Gateway, shown at right. It's going to be available across 30 million U.S. households at launch, including the large swaths of rural America. It both average download speed of about 100 megabits per second, up with it being the 10 to 25 megabytes per second. Cord cutting is coming home to internet access, not just pay TV, but every embedded broadband customer able to fire their current provider, current provider, and switch to residential wireless from T-Mobile and Verizon. Both carriers offer connectivity on at speeds that may not match those of cable internet, but should be fast enough for many home uses. They also don't inflict cable data capture mode and rental fees. What they can't do yet is match the fast service footprint of incumbent cable providers. T-Mobile says the $60 5G home internet service it announced in April, April 7th, covers more than 30 million households across some 1.6 square miles, the whole U.S. land area, and 3.5 million. As in posted the coverage map, would be customers must plug in their home addresses at its sites and check for service. A, a FAQ page taps download speeds of 50 megabits per second, with most new subscribers exceeding 100 megabits per second. A separate disclosure page, disclosures page cites upload speeds of 13 to 28 megabits per second, well above cable upload that also started 3 megabits per second. Now Verizon has launched its 4G LTE home internet service last June, with its most recent expansion announced October 1st of last year. It now reaches parts of 189 markets across 48 states. Here, too, there's no coverage map, so you have to check your own address at its site. The $60 service, $40 if you get a Verizon smartphone service, <coughs> offers downloads of 25 to 50 megabits per second, uploads of 3 to 6 megabits per second. In 30 cities, Verizon also offers a much faster 5G home service, $70 or $50 with a Verizon phone plan. And the advertised downloads of 300 megabits per second, upload to 50 M megabits per second. But its reliance on Verizon's fragile short-range millimeter wave 5G leaves it with excruciating, excruciatingly limited coverage. PC Magazine found, fell, found fell short even that carries millimeter wave 5G smartphones there. Either T-Mobile 5G or Verizon LTE should represent a serious upgrade over aging, slow DSL connections. That Avi Greengard, president and lead analyst of Tech Financial. Realistically, even today's 4G speed are often orders of magnitude faster than DSL. Never mind mid-band 5G, he wrote in an email. Another area, the local cable monopoly went on speed. But adding an alternative should spur the incumbent to offer a better value proposition. T-Mobile 5G, built on mid-band 5G spectrum, unmatched at Verizon or at and is better out of competing with cable. Will Townsend, senior analyst at More Insights and Strategies, thus himself very confident in T-Mobile's competitive position in rural markets because of the spectrum advantage. He was less optimistic about Verizon's perspective, even after that carrier puts it puts its own mid-band 5G into service right at the end of this year. And when the $45 billion Verizon spent to buy that spectrum, Townsend warned that this and other deployment costs will likely result in higher subscriber prices. T-Mobile, for its part, has warned that the chip shortage may limit how many Wi-Fi gateways it can ship and therefore how many people can sign up. Nasty Henny approaches for the companies and expects to have more than... <coughs> 500,000 subscribers by year end and 7 million, 8 million in total in five years. Said Green, only many Americans with superb connectivity, but any upgrade on the current situation should be welcome. Said Green Gart, I don't feel that this fixed wireless will solve all suburban and rural broadband access problems, but I'm optimistic it will have a significant impact. 
I want to thank you for watching. Please leave your comments, likes, and dislikes at the end of the video. And as always, share this with your local social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, uh, Telegram, and Twitter. I want to thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.